Liverpool punish is where he doesn't have to now. I'd much rather see him playing for City, but whatever he chooses to do will get me back in. That's what it's all about, I think. Ricky's a hard nut in the ring, but the battle-scared world champ shows his soft side when it comes to his son. I couldn't have wished for him, you know. He said, how would you like Campbell to be when he's seven years of age? He'd be exactly the way he is now. He's perfect in every way. I don't think he's going to be a Richard Dunn, are you, mate? More like a Billy Elliot, I think. <laughs> <laughs> At Ray and Carol's house, the family are gathered for an important visit. And it's not long before the bickering begins. I'm going to come down and see you and me bleeding dad. Well, don't bleed in bother then, that's soon though. Don't tell me. Shut it. It's like I have. Shut up. Flat nose. You've been a right here tonight, you. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. It's so horrible. Well, yeah, it's got to be you and Jennifer or Jenna and Matt. Can we stop talking about marriage? You're scaring the shit out of me. I've got one look at me dad and married life, he's put me off it. He used to be six foot two with black wavy hair, yeah, look at him now, he's four foot four. <laughs> Big shit, I'm a silver fox. <laughs> Ricky's two nuns are on the way over. Don't go for my go, Nats. They can be his harshest critics. She said, oh, that this fight, you better pull your socks up and start performing because, uh, let's have it right, your last fight, you were shite. <laughs> you didn't wow him over there, she said. Went to America and you didn't exactly wow him, did you? <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Nana. Got feelings, me, you know. <laughs> the two Nanas, Dorothy and Kathleen, arrived to the usual warm welcome. Here they are, the Spice Girls. Oh, In your bracket. <laughs> hey, behave. Do you want a cup of tea or do you want a whiskey? What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> They've been friends for 50 years and still live opposite each other. What did she say last time when she was this? You went, <laughs> well, you'll have, to, you'll have to do your best against this Oscar Merriweather. Oscar Merriweather. Oscar Merriweather. Oscar Merriweather. Oscar Merriweather. Even though they're both over 80, the girls still plan to go to the stadium to see Ricky's fight. This is ground. Oh, it's ground. Oh, I think. Yeah, in the open air. Be all right if it don't rain. Do you both stop? Is it in the open air? Yeah. And what happens if it rains? We all get wet. We all get soaked. We all get wet. Yeah. You two ready for a whiskey yet? Yeah? Are we on? There you go, ashtray. Right. Now, would you like me to light the six for you? Do you wish more? You know what I mean? You don't smoke. Good lad. How are you, not eating? The two nuns still remember embarrassing details about Ricky when he was a lad. You know, I used to say, do you think I've got a midget? <laughs> it's true that I took you to the doctors and I asked him to measure you. Yeah. Honest to God, I had forgotten all about that. I think he was about three and he measured 36, about 28 inches. Because he had so his little legs were like little jacks here now. Anyway, anyway, I wouldn't mind if we're 15. Um, Be careful with that ball. Don't give them the good stuff. I don't want them here all bloody nice. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> Ricky's off home, leaving Carol and Ray to reflect on the importance of the fight. Well, try to anyway. This fight for Richard is the most important fight of his career because if... Um... Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I'm being filmed here. And all I can hear in the oh, background I'm sorry. is a couple of budges. You know what I mean? I'm just, this is, I this love is my, you all to have a punch. This is my big chance of stardom oh, late on in life. This fight is... Um, a mega fight, isn't it? You're doing it again. Because you did that again, the star. Carol, what is your child? We're trying to do an interview. It's very, very serious, well, isn't why it? Why don't you get in the kitchen or in the back garden? You know what I mean? You're in the stalls. Oh, shut up! Well, yeah. I mean, especially after the um, the loss against 
Mayweather, I mean... No, I think the... the, the uh, Excuse me, don't you start like a parrot really. now. Each week, Carol never misses the bingo session at her local pub. Don't you drink? Are you sure? I'd go for that. And tonight, apart from meeting all her mates, there's one extra player. Her mum, Kathleen. On the third, we have a game of bingo, and then when the bingo's finished, we have a game of cards. It's eyes down and the numbers are called. And not for the first time, Kathleen wins the loot. <laughs> Ricky's coach, Billy, limbers up. He's getting ready for another painful training session. I'm absolutely wearing out. I'm at the top of my game experience-wise, you know. I've done about everything you could possibly do. I've been in every situation, so I'm probably with my best by that, but physically, I'm completely fucked. It's four weeks to go to the fight, and it's time for Billy to go through the dreaded body bag. He wears this protective harness, and then Ricky knocks seven bells out of him. But there'll be no sympathy from the hitman. Not asked, I don't fucking feel it. <laughs> and Billy isn't getting any younger. He survived. At least it's over for another day. As Ricky and Jennifer relax at home, they know the big day is fast approaching. Getting nervous now, nervous times. Ricky remains focused on what he has to do. My demeanour doesn't alter at all. You know, I'll be laughing and joking probably right up to the uh, right up to the fight until I get in the changing rooms and then that last hour or two hours I get, you know, don't touch me, don't come near me. Billy won't say too much to me. But even the world champion will feel the pressure on the night of the fight. I've got to perform and I've got to do it in front of 55,000, which is... It's good to have that support in your corner, but it adds pressure, especially when you're coming off a knockout defeat, so come, uh, come fight night, me arse will be like that. 